Good day, this is E.T. here and I'd like to explain to men how they can, they can be better lovers and get more sex throughout their life. Now, um, what do men crave most? Sex. And beer and all the things that makes them, gives them instant gratification. Makes them feel good that they can get sex when they want it or whatever. But, what many men are doing, because they're abusing their women by demanding sex and perverted sex and all sort of porn sex, is eventually destroying their own relationships. Eventually they end up with less sex, costs them a fortune in material things because you've got to buy the woman's favour all the time, and then eventually you end up in the divorce courts and you lose your house and end up on the street having no sex or sex with other men. Now, there's a way, of course, there's many ways of being and there's no... Humans are human, are diverse as anything and cultures are cultures. But there are ways of having good quality sex all through your life that doesn't cost you a fortune in new dresses and dinners out and all that other sort of stuff which sends men troppo and it's uh, causing massive pollution in the world trying to keep up with the demands of women who say you can't have me unless you buy a fancy car or a bigger house. See, what they don't tell you is that the biggest cause of pollution or increase in um, interaction by human into the environment is women. Because the more women demand things to please them the newer one, the better one, and the more men give in to this, and men have to give in to their ego to other men to show what they can buy for their women, and their daughters and kids, the more pollution there is. And chances are, the less sex there is. So even though it's an inverse ratio, the more sort of pollution there is, the more demand for material things, the less sex people get. And so therefore, they end up with more dissatisfaction in their life, more divorces, more deranged families and all that sort of thing. Now, we can see the repercussions of what materialistic sex does for society. Sex is a, a beautiful way, we all enjoy sex, it's no doubt we all, men, all men are basically the same in that way. Um, if some men who were, uh, you know, you can't get enough sex with women, or not very really good with women, they become gay. Lots of men choose to become gay, not every man is born and who is gay is born and homosexual. That is a furphy. And, then it's, and it doesn't tell the truth story, actually, and there's nothing else. I don't care how men have sex, that's their business, never mind. Just to try to explain some things about humanity. If no man gets any more sex by paying his woman for it, than those blokes who don't pay their woman for sex. In fact, the blokes who use charm and are, are reasonable sort of men, don't abuse their women in any way, and especially don't abuse them sexually, don't make sexual demands on them, will end up with a longer lasting sexual relationship with their partner than them blokes, those blokes, who think they can buy the woman's favours all the time? Oh, look, I've got you a new car. What are you going to do? Give me a head job now. Oh, yes, I'll give you a head job for a new car. And I'll give you a head job for a new dress. I'll bend over for you uh, for a new, a new kitchen cupboard. And that's the sort of arrangements that are happening these days. In the Western society, sex has become a material contract between two people. Men want sex because it's all the go. And women say, well, I'll... I've got to have sex because that's all the go and uh, I ought to do it anyway and get abused like a porn star and say, well, OK, I'm pretty, I'll make a quid out of my sexuality, I'll go on to a rich bloke. That's the sort of society we're in and it's always been that way in a way. Not going to change human society, but if you will not buy a woman's favour by agreeing with everything she says or giving in to everything she wants, because if you do that, then women think you're weak and emasculated. They don't think you're a man by giving in to everything they demand. 
and there's no respect for each human if humans give in to each other if woman gives in to a man every time he wants some sexual perversion done he ends up losing respect for her he doesn't respect the woman unless you show with mutual respect in a relationship is not sycophantic it's not agreeing when you don't agree it's knowing how to disagree and get over your disagreements say sorry if you were wrong admit when you're wrong don't admit when you're wrong even with women when you're not it's a big it's a it's a grave error of judge judgment to admit you're wrong when you're not because then women will incrementally see you as a weak man and the last thing that turns women on is weak emasculated men so all this thing emasculating men to be politically correct and kowtowing and compliant and all that and no longer can speak their own mind is making these men redundant in the uh, genetic fields in the competition and a challenge to spread your genes more of them are becoming gay and women are becoming less satisfied about their sexual life as they pollute because more and more pollution is caused because of this abuse of sex and power between the sexes than any other factor I know what's this to do with sex well everything we have we're not born without sex two people loving each other or maintaining each other on a dark night having a quickie no one's born without sex it's the abuse it's not sexual abuse people should look at life through but the abuse of sex and now those repercussions affect the world spiritually and materially and when humans come to terms with that idea then they'll be much more content and will ever up, end up with a better quality sex life throughout their life and a more balanced and equal society there shall be because there'll be mutual sexual respect and when there's mutual sexual respect especially respecting the woman it's very very important they need emotional uh, nurturing more than they need material giving the habit of giving men to materialism for women for sex is a very very bad and very very expensive habit which is causing massive amount of deficits within the western world that's another story the abuse of sex is a big story and it causes all sorts of repercussions down through the generations I may put a few more videos together about this because it's a, sum, a subject that needs to be understood within humanity. Thank you, this is ET, bye bye.